Hey everyone, this is uh, Jeremy again, aka Mitsurugi W. I just thought I would uh, make a video showing kind of what kind of tools I use. Um, I know a lot of people that just get into the hobby don't really know uh, what they're doing. And this is kind of a toolbox I put together over the years of having to do repairs and stuff. And I, I take this toolbox whenever I go to repairs for other, everyone else and I, I also use it here in my house. I'll just go through this real quick. Um, I always have an, uh, a screwdriver with the different bits and stuff. That's a necessity. You have to have that. But I also keep this regular standard Phillips head and flathead screwdriver. And the flathead screwdriver is what I also use for uh, discharging monitors. Um, I always have like a little mini flashlight, something I can like hold in my mouth or something if I need to. Um, it's very useful inside of games. I have uh, Bob Roberts uh, plastic monitor alignment kit the, for the horizontal width and stuff like that. I have a Molex pin extractor. I always have a pen right here. I've got a solder sucker for on the road. I always have a pair of scissors. It's very helpful to have a pair of scissors. They can even act in a in a pinch as a wire cutter if you have to. Um, I have this little angled mirror thing so some monitors are harder to adjust and I found that this is coming useful in certain situations, so I keep one in here. I always have a regular pair of pliers. As you can see here, regular pair of pliers. A small needle nose plier. A more standard, uh, rigid needle nose. Um, a wire stripper. Just a regular wire cutter. This here is a Molex pin crimper for doing connectors and such. This is a wire stripper for the Kino or the wire wrap for doing a trace repair on PCBs. A Sharpie is always helpful because I also will keep uh, some uh, masking tape if I need to label some wires or something. And then just like a carpenter's pencil. It's coming useful in the past. Always have a multimeter. This is a cheap uh, Radio Shack multimeter, but I've used this for years. And you must have a multimeter. I've replaced the battery in this thing probably 15 times. Only three of those from accidentally leaving it on uh, for weeks at a time. I always have some uh, drill bits. I always take my drill with me also, just in case. Of course, some little small snippers. Um, electrical tape, which is a must. I have some extra split pin Molex pins in here. Always have a measuring tape. You don't think you need it until you need it. It comes in handy to have one. I also bought this nifty thing. You just plug it into an outlet and it tells you if the outlet's wired correctly. You'd be surprised how many outlets are incorrectly wired out there. Um, some more drill bits. Some more wire, just random wire. Um, this right here, I don't know if you can see it connect this to where a fuse is and you can just keep resetting. It's a resettable uh, fuse. So instead of just blowing fuses over and over again until you figure out what the problem is, you can just reset this. Um, I also have this, which is a, an extension harness for a monitor. So if I'm in a location that has multiple machines, I can use this to uh, hook up a monitor in one machine to the wiring of another machine to see if the monitor is what the problem in fact is. Um, always have a headlamp which is a must for working inside machines so you can have both your hands available. LED one. I have a, this is this is basically just wire for um, discharging monitors. I don't use one of those fancy discharging rigs. I just use a flathead screwdriver wire with stripped ends, wrap it around, and then put it to the, the frame of the monitor. I um, always have extra bits on hand and sockets. Plenty of those. It's a pre precision screwdriver set, little mini screwdriver set. Always have a bag of zip ties. Very helpful for keeping things organized when you're working in machines. Have some uh, heat shrink tubing. I have various uh, wire caps. And it's not in here right now because I just used it earlier, but I always have a, a long handled uh, lighter for using with the shrink wrap. Um, 
So that's basically my toolbox. So I'll also have this back here. I'll show you. It's just a guide for if you pull a certain screw or something out, you can figure out what size it is, or you know, need to go buy a replacement at Lowe's or Home Depot or whatever. Uh, so that's my, my briefcase basically. And then I will show you my little work area over here. Get this out of the way. Uh, before I do that, I also have my tube rejuvenator, and this is a Sencor CR7000. I will not show you how it works right now, but it works very nicely. <laughs> I love this thing right here. It's restored mini tubes. Um, degaussing coil. always have this. Believe it or not, a hot glue gun. I use this for doing trace repairs to keep the trace wire down so it won't get snagged and pulled off eventually. Alright, now let me kind of show you around here. Uh, I have this right here. This is my lamp. It's kind of an adjustable whatever. It keeps gives you light but keeps everything out of the way. Let me adjust, take this off right quick. Alright, I'll show you around here. Alright, this is my soldering station right here. It's got a, re, a rework, uh, the hot air rework. It also has just a regular soldering iron. And um, then I have this one right here, which is a surface mount desoldering thing for taking off like surface mount diodes, stuff like that. Um, caps. I use that for Konami boards for the sound section. Um, just, you know, some regular PCB solder. Um, solder wick. I use that occasionally, even though I have a. a solder sucker down here and uh, some regular solder for like wire joints and stuff like that um, spray bottles just for the, the sponge making sure the, the sponge stays wet when I'm soldering um, I have this right here this is basically just a kit it has the mica insulators and all that for transistors or whatnot um, I also make these right here I've had one of these for all the monitors I've worked on. It's basically a kit with uh, with f common failure points and monitors, parts, and stuff like that. For example, this one you can see right there, Neotech NT2515C. It's got parts that fail commonly, like the IC101, which can cause the monitor to be completely dead, and various other parts. I also have two of these for the K7000. And K7000 had four different voltage regulators depending on which uh, which model you had. So I've got this one here with just voltage regulators, and I've also got um, another one right here, another K7000, which has other common failures like uh, wire wound resistors, trim pots for the um, the neck board that can go bad, um, the hot various tandem caps, stuff like that can, that can go bad. I um, also have one for the Electra Home. Got your hot and stuff like that in there. And this one here is for the MC2000S Sega monitor. That came in, that, that monitor came in like uh, my Frogger, it came in Outrun, stuff like that. I've got one of these kits for every monitor I've worked on. Um, when I work on a monitor, I usually order a few extra parts to have on hand the next time, just so I'll have them. Um, this thing here just basically is a uh, color code chart for resistors, capacitors, and inductors. I stole it from a Radio Shack probably about 12 years ago. I had like five of them there, so I snagged it. It's come in pretty useful. Um, you know, of course, you need your 100-piece your security bit set I got from Bob, or you can get at uh, Harbor Freight. And these are the books, some books I use. Um, Randy Fromm's Big Blue Book of, of you know, great technical information. It's been very helpful over the years for learning certain things. But I also have his Big Green Book of Monitor Schematics, which I actually did not order, but I ordered the blue book, and he accidentally sent me this one. And when I pointed out his mistake, he's like, go ahead and keep that. And, I actually, and actually, I'm glad that I did get it because I've used this thing a ton also. Um, show you some other stuff here. It's 
another kit I've had. This mostly has a lot of pinball stuff in it. It has the transistors for like the bally, um, the bally boards and uh, diodes for the coils. I also have like a Miss Pac-Man connector, like a connector rebuild kit, edge connector. Um, V2000 transistors for the vector monitors, just random stuff. Um, hap gun optos for repairing the the hap guns. I've used those quite a bit. Um, I usually have some CMOS batteries for midway PCBs, but I've used them all. They seem to be all be dying at the same time. Um, quick disconnects for inside your control panel. Uh, secret: If you want to buy these in bulk pretty cheap go talk to your uh, local car audio person they'll be able to order you a pack it comes in like just a regular plastic bag but you'll get hundreds of them way cheaper than buying them at Harbor Freight or Lowe's or something like that um, also these boxes there you might recognize them from Bob Roberts those are just boxes full of flybacks and cap kits and stuff like that um, and that's just kind of stuff I keep on hand and I own I own close to 30 machines and they tend to break down and this is just all the stuff like I said that I keep on hand to make repairing easy. I can usually repair most stuff the same day it breaks if I need to. So hope it's helpful for some people and interesting to other people and uh, hope you enjoy the video. Bye. Okay guys a little postscript. I forgot to show this when I shot the video originally. I felt like I had to go back and show you. This is the solder sucker I use. It's the, the Hakko 808. This thing, I bought it used off eBay for like uh, about a hundred dollars, something like that. And it is an amazing piece of equipment. And it works very well. It's very lightweight. Um, like I said, mine's used, so it's not in the best condition. I had to replace the plug. Um, but it works very well. Like I said, it's very light. It sucks the solder right out. It's very, very useful for uh, cap kits and such like that. So I would highly recommend one of these. But there are other good ones out there you can get. But like I said, this one works very well. All right, guys. Thanks.